just trying to pack for the Dells Divide and it's proving to be pretty difficult. Four or five days. At the moment I'm running with two pairs of boxers and two pairs of socks, which I'm not sure is enough. But yeah, let's go and have a look at the other shit that we've got. This is a non-exhaustive spattering of everything that we've got to take with us. The drone to 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. No swear words here. PG channel. <laughs> Fucking bane of. I hate this already. Oh, would you just pack it in? <laughs> Been doing a bit of strategic planning for this trip. Realised that if my Garmin dies, we are fucked. So I've enlisted Mr. Smithy as help and he's going to give us his Garmin. So we've at least got a backup for the trip. Speaking of which, he's actually here. So we're going to go, we're going to go see him. Whoa. Mr. Sneeze! Mr. Sneeze! Mr. Sneeze! You're back in the vlog. <laughs> There's the Garmin. He's, this man Whoop. decided he didn't want to do it. Yeah, the stats. What stat you have to say? The stats just were ridiculous. Stats, stats. Uh. Angles. Right, turn the music down. On our way to the Dales Divide. It is currently 5.36 p.m. Got to give way here. Ah! Pretty buzzed about it. Uh, to be honest, it's going to be a hell of a ride. These are so mad, these glasses. <laughs> They're not necessary. <laughs> Here we are. We're on the pier, ready to go. And Kia's <laughs> looking like a bit of a sausage. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. It's like Nilcho degrees.
tyres going for 30k. Yeah, it's at this point where things really started to go wrong um, and we were pretty pissed off. So let me explain. Within the first two miles, I got a puncture, which in any circumstance, that's pretty normal. As a cyclist, we get punctures all the time and it's easy enough to fix you just whack in a new inner tube so you carry one with you or you just get a patch and you stick it over the hole where the thorn or whatever it is um, has punctured the, the tube um, we actually brought with us six different uh, patches um, and then a load of different inner tubes as well i think we brought maybe three inner tubes with us which was you know more than enough in, a, in any other circumstance yeah, so I got a puncture in the first two miles, um, fixed it, and then carried on. And then I got another puncture, I think in the 10th mile. And then I got another one in the 15th mile. And it just kept building up, and it got to the point where me and my brother were thinking, there's something not right here. And I think, you know, as a cyclist who's you know, worked in a, in a bike shop, I've got experience in like fixing punctures, enough to know that you need to check the tire, enough to know that you have to make sure that there's no debris in the tire so that the, the puncture doesn't happen again. So I then decided, why don't I swap the, why don't I swap the tire with the front one and see if that makes a difference. And then sure enough, the front tire starts getting punctures. So I was like, okay, there's clearly something going on with the tire. So we had to make a big detour to a bike shop. Um, and by which point we were already really quite far behind. And the beauty of doing this challenge, this bike cracking race was that me and my brother were going to you know, race up there on Friday night, do three days and get back because we both had work. Um, the, the following week. So we were on a really tight time schedule. Unfortunately, this was a pretty big setback. So we had to take a big detour to the bike shop, um, which once resolved, we kind of got back on the road and we started chipping away at the route. Um, and then the next setback came, which ultimately was too big to continue with. So on my brother's bike, he's got a big, almost like a pannier or a rack on the back that holds everything that he wants to carry. Um, unfortunately, the way that it's designed, it's not really designed for using on off-road surfaces, basically. So over a number of miles, that bike rack started to wear out the tire um, but also started to damage the frame itself. Um, we also got to a point where the rack itself completely sheared. So we ended up having to come up with a contingency plan, which was ultimately not continuing with the race. Um, you know, fortunately for us, we were in one of the most beautiful spots to camp in the UK, I think. And so we just made the most of it. We decided, right, we're gonna camp up on the Dales, have a nice evening, try and limp our way back to the van the next day. So the following clips are all after we decided that we couldn't continue with the race. And to stress, we were both extremely gutted and we didn't really do much filming through the period of struggle because 
we just felt a bit crap. We felt like we'd let ourselves down. We'd done a lot of training for it. Um, but I guess the silver lining is there was due to be a really, really big storm coming in. Um, so we said to ourselves, okay, maybe this is a telltale sign that we should come back and do this when the weather's really good. Um, when we've got better equipment, particularly Kier's bike. Um, and so, yeah, and it was a bit of a learning experience and we're extremely pleased we did it. Anyway, the clips that we got that we're about to show you are what happens next and yeah, how we turned a fairly grim situation into something quite exciting. So enjoy the next clips. again today it's funny that ginger getting burnt the plan is to stay here tonight and avoid the rain we don't have that much water which is a bit of an issue but hey it's beautiful and we're missing tinnies which kind of sucks but hey yeah, while, I, while we're here I should probably show you my tent because I bought this off um, Ali, Alibaba, or whatever you suppose, whatever it's called. Is it Alibaba or AliExpress? It was super cheap. It's a copy of one of the MSRs, like the MSR Hubba Hubba, which is a really good tent, by the way, if you can afford it. Um, but yeah, it's basically a copy of that. And um, yeah, you can you can actually fit three people in it. Um, yeah, it's decent. We're gonna pack up and go and find some food. My view this morning, just banging. Lovely, jubbly. My hair is looking pretty ponging in it. Yep, we're in DJ's Cafe and Bistro. 10 out of 10 for the cappuccino. Oh, look at that. Excuse my grubby nails. 
Like that man stance. <laughs> We've got pints because it's bank holiday weekend. That's what everyone should be doing, and the pubs are now open. Listen to me, you swine. You guys haven't ordered food, have you? No, no I haven't. Yeah. But, but we'll take it. Take that. Such a shit joke. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll take it. <laughs>